quick reference about CDS views. So if you take view, it is going to be pull a different fields from a different table based on the business needs. So CDS views also is, go is, is going to do the same over here. Um, it just rearranged the table fields according to the application specific needs. And while activating a CDS view, it creates two things in your back dictionary. One is the CDS entity and one is the SQL view. So here I'm talking about the CDS view, not the CDS view entity. And CDS entities can be called through an open SQL for a data selection. So through a normal select, you are able to call the CDS view in your any of your ABAP program. And CDS view can be designed through a tool Eclipse with an ADT enabled. So that is the only place where you are able to um, make your CDS views. So the code push down concept is we are able to achieve through CDS views. So it, you are able to make most of the uh, application level logic to the database level using CDS views. And uh, because of that, it reduced the execution time, especially the application layer execution time, because most of the data manipulations are happening in your database layer itself. And um, uh, the CDS views act as a data source for many analytical tools because uh, uh, it, it is a, it's a good layer of communicating with the database along with all the complex logics to be made in the database layer itself. So most of the analytical tools prefer CDS views as a, a middle layer to retrieve the data from the database. And we have annotations. Normally annotations help to provide the CDS view data as a rich data model. Depends on the component specific. Okay, uh, So we have different annotations. We're not providing only the data. We are sending other informations also with the help of annotations. And uh, a few things about uh, CDS views probably to be uh, remember as well. CDS views cannot be debugged. Here I'm talking about the CDS view, not the AMDP methodology, no table function, no procedures. So you're not able to uh, debug a CDS view because it's a one full SQL. So you can't uh, debug the full SQL, right? And then uh, CDS view cannot return more than one result set as an output. Uh, procedures can, but CDS views cannot. And performance issues, you have to be remember, it might happen because of a huge data volume or a complex logic or complex join designs that makes the performance issues in your CDS views. And SQL trace helps to understand your CDS view flow as well as the data. And that can be through ST05 or HANA plan, which helps you to understand better. Thank you so much.